Hi, hello, welcome to my channel Learn More Math. Uh, my name is Varak Kumar. Uh, today we are going to solve a problem from 11th chapter trigonometry exercise 11.1 seventh problem. So see here what he has given uh, cot theta is equal to 7 by 8 uh, then evaluate uh, so 1 plus sin theta into 1 minus sin theta by 1 plus cos theta into 1 minus cos theta. So next second bit 1 plus sin theta by cos theta. So see here uh, cot theta equal to 7 by 8 he has given. So cot theta what we know about cot theta adjacent side by opposite side is equal to 7 by 8 he has given. So here in right angle triangle ABC so let angle A is equal to theta. So then adjacent side to theta becomes AB opposite side to theta becomes BC. Therefore, let adjacent side, so this is adjacent side, AB is equal to 7M. Since it is the ratio, we have to take 7M. Then opposite side to theta is BC, let it is 8M. So if it is 7M, it will be 8M. So M is positive, any positive number. So by using Pythagoras theorem, we have to find the value of AC. So if we find the value of AC, we can find the sin theta and cos theta, then after we have to substitute here. So first, uh, by using Pythagoras theorem, we know AB square plus BC square equal to AC square. AB square plus BC square equal to AC square. Now we have to find the value of AC. So see here, AB square, that is 7M whole square. So since AB is 7M, AB square is 7M whole square plus bc square bc is 8m bc square is 8m whole square is equal to ac square so first i am writing ac square is equal to so 7m whole square becomes 49m square and 8m whole square becomes 64m square 64m square so ac square is equal to so here uh, 49 plus 64 becomes uh, 113 m square 113 m square so then we have to find the value of ac ac is equal to square root of 113 m square so we can get a square root of 113 into m so this is the value of ac so next we have to find what is there in the first bit sin theta and cos theta is there now we have to find sin theta and cos theta so we know sin theta is equal to opposite side to theta by hypotenuse so opposite to opposite side to theta is bc and hypotenuse is ac so it becomes bc by ac so here bc value is how much bc equal to 8m by AC equal to square root 113M. Square root 113M. So M M gets cancelled. We get a sin theta is equal to 8 by square root of 113. 8 by square root of 113. So this is sin theta. So next we have to find cos theta is there. So we have to find cos theta. So we know cos theta equal to adjacent side to theta divided by hypotenuse. So here adjacent side to theta is AB, hypotenuse is AC. So it becomes AB by AC. So it is a cos theta, adjacent side is AB, hypotenuse AC, AB by AC. So we know AB is equal to 7M. So write 7M divided by AC is equal to square root 113M. So write a square root 113m, 113m. So here m, m gets cancelled. We get cos theta is equal to 7 by square root of 113m. So sorry, cos theta equal to 7 by square root 113. So now we have to substitute sin theta and cos theta in the first one. So we can get us see here how can we find so now we have to find 1 plus sin theta into 1 minus sin theta divided by 1 plus cos theta into 1 minus cos theta so we have sin theta equal to 8 by root 113 cos theta equal to 7 by root 113 just we have to substitute 1 plus sin theta so instead of sin theta we have to write 8 by root 113 
into 1 minus sin theta 1 minus 8 by root 113 divided by 1 plus cos theta 1 plus 7 by root 113 into 1 minus cos theta 1 minus 7 by root 113 so just we have to sub uh, simplify it see here uh, <coughs> so it is in the form a plus b into a minus b so a plus b into a minus b is a square minus b square so we get uh, 1 square minus uh, 8 by square root 113 whole square divided by so in the denominator also same it is also in the form a plus b into a minus b so we can get a square minus b square a square minus 7 by root 113 whole square so since we have applied here a plus b into a minus b equal to So using this formula a plus b into a minus b equal to a square minus b square we have written. So 1 square is 1 minus 8 by root 113 whole square. So 8 square becomes 64 divided by root 113 whole square becomes 113. Row 2 square gets cancelled. So here also 1 square is 1 and it becomes 49 by root 113 whole square becomes 113 so see here uh, 1 square is 1 minus it becomes 8 square by root 113 whole square 8 square is 16 root 113 whole square is 113 so here in the denominator 1 square is 1 minus uh, it is 7 square is 49 root 113 whole square is 113 so just we have to uh, simplify here it becomes uh, uh, find else 113 minus 64 by 113 so here 113 minus 49 by 113 so just find lcm so 113 minus 64 by 113 113 minus 49 by 113 113 113 gets cancelled so here 113 minus 64 is 49 and 113 minus 49 is 64 so we get 49 by 64 so this is first bit 1 plus sin theta into 1 minus sin theta by 1 plus cos theta into 1 minus cos theta equal to how much 49 by 64 so next we have to find 1 plus sin theta by cos theta second bit uh, see here next this is second bit 1 plus sin theta by cos theta so we have sin theta equal to 8 by root 113 so 1 plus 8 by root 113 divided by cos theta equal to 7 by root 113 so just to find lcm here what we get uh, square root 113 plus 8 by square root 113 divided by 7 by square root 113 so these two gets cancelled finally we get a first time rating 8 plus square root 113 divided by 7 so this is the value of 1 plus sin theta by cos theta so this is the seventh bit uh, seventh problem in exercise 11.1 next we have to solve eighth problem uh, this is eighth problem in exercise 11.1 uh, see here what he is asking in a right angle in a right angle triangle abc right angle is at b if tan a is equal to square root 3 then find the value of sin a cos c plus cos a sin c so next second bit cos a cos c minus sin a sin c so he has given tan a equal to root 3 in right angle triangle abc so see here how can we find so tan a equal to root 3 has given but what we know about tan a tan a equal to opposite side by adjacent side so that is a root 3 so what is there in the denominator denominator is 1 so 1 is there in the denominator root 3 by 1 it can be written as root 3 by 1 so now see here uh, abc is a right angled triangle a right angle a is at b so it is about angle a tan a is equal to root 3 so here it is angle a so tan a is what opposite side to angle a divided by adjacent side to angle a so here what is the opposite side to angle a bc is the opposite side to angle a so 
in right angle triangle ABC let A opposite side what is opposite side BC so let it is uh, root 3 into M so it is uh, since it is a ratio we have to take root 3 into some constant M is any real any positive number here so BC is equal to root 3 into M then adjacent side so adjacent side to angle A is equal to AB it becomes 1 into M is M so now using Pythagoras theorem we have to find the value of AC so we have AB is equal to how much M BC is equal to root 3 M so using these two values we have to find the length of the side of AC if we find the length of the side of AC we can find a sin A sin C whatever it may be any trigonometric ratio we can find if we know the lengths of all the three sides of right angle the triangle so now using Pythagoras theorem we can write uh, a square on the hypotenuse is equal to sum of the squares of other two sides. So here uh, AC square is equal to AB square plus BC square. So AC is, we have to find the uh, length of AC. So see here now we have to substitute. We know AB and BC values so just we have to substitute. So AC square is equal to. So AB is how much root 3 into M. So it becomes root 3 m whole square plus bc square bc is equal to m bc square becomes m square. So just as I have substituted the value of ab and bc. So now root 3 m whole square becomes 3 m square and already here m square is there. 3 m square plus m square it is equal to 4 m square. So AC square is equal to 4M square. Therefore AC is equal to how much? AC is equal to square root of 4M square. So it is equal to 2M. Square root of 4M square is equal to how much? 2M. So now we have AB, BC and AC. So now we have to find sin A cos C plus cos A sin C. Uh, uh, see here uh, what are there in first bit sin A cos C plus cos A sin C. So we have to find sin A cos A and sin C cos C. So first we have to find sin A. So sin A equal to what opposite side by hypotenuse. So what is opposite side? Opposite side to angle A. So opposite side to angle A is BC divided by hypotenuse is AC BC by AC so opposite side is BC hypotenuse is AC so we have BC is equal to root 3m and AC is equal to 2m so m m gets cancelled we have we get a root 3 is a sin a is equal to root 3 by 2 so just uh, m m gets cancelled we get a root 3 by 2 sin a equal to root 3 by 2 so in the same way we have to find cos a cos so cos a equal to what adjacent side by hypotenuse so here uh, adjacent side to angle a is a b hypotenuse is a c so it becomes a b by a c So we have AB is equal to M, AC is equal to 2M. So it is M divided by 2M. So M, M gets cancelled. We can get 1 by 2. So cos A is equal to 1 by 2. So next we require a sin C and cos C. So we have to find sin C and cos C sin c equal to again opposite side to angle c divided by h just you have to write very carefully here here angle has been changed to c so now how to select this is angle c now we have to write opposite side becomes a b so opposite side to angle c here opposite side to angle c what it is a b by hypotenuse is a c so just you have to check what is the angle so here angle c is there so opposite side to angle c is a b but whereas here sin a equal to opposite side 
opposite side to angle A is BC but opposite side to angle C is AB. So here we have to write AB divided by hypotenuse is AC. So this is very important opposite side to angle C is AB by AC. So we have AB equal to M, AC is equal to 2M. So that implies M divided by 2M. So again M M gets cancelled we can get 1 by 2 1 by 2. So this is a sine C. So next we have to find cos C also. So cos C is equal to what adjacent side by hypotenuse but here adjacent side to what angle C. So this is angle C adjacent side to angle C is BC. BC by hypotenuse is AC. BC by AC. So here uh, while writing opposite side and adjacent side you must have very careful uh, for which angle we have to select uh, just to, we have to see observe the angle. So here angle C is there. So adjacent side to angle C this is angle C adjacent side is BC hypotenuse is AC. So we have BC is equal to root 3M. by ac is equal to 2m so m m gets cancelled we get a root 3 by 2 root 3 by 2 so now we have sin a cos a sin c cos c so just by substituting here we can get a uh, now we have to substitute this is the first one sin a cos c plus cos a sin c so just you have to substitute the values sin a equal to root 3 by 2 and cos c is equal to root 3 by 2. So sin a cos c root 3 by 2 into root 3 by 2. So write plus cos a is equal to 1 by 2 and sin c is also 1 by 2. So 1 by 2 into 1 by 2. So just we have to simplify. So these two root 3 into root 3 is 3. 2 into 2 is 4. So it is 3 by 4 plus 1 into 1, 1. 2 into 2, 4. So it is a 3 by 4 plus 1 by 4. So just uh, root 3 into root 3 is a 3, 2 into 2 is 4, plus 1 into 1 is 1, 2 into 2 is 4. So it becomes a uh, find LCM, we can get a uh, 3 plus 1 by 4. So 3 plus 1 is 4 by 4, which is equal to 1. So this is uh, <coughs> uh, sin a cos a plus cos a sin a equal to 1. So this is the first bit. Next we have to find the value of the second bit. Second one. So this is second bit cos a cos c minus sin a sin c. So we have all the values cos a is equal to how much cos a equal to 1 by 2 into cos c is equal to how much root 3 by 2 minus sin a is equal to how much A root 3 by 2 into sin c is equal to how much 1 by 2 so just uh, see here uh, multiply the multiply the numerators and the denominators it is a uh, root 3 by 4 1 into root 3 is root 3 2 into 2 is 4 minus here also root 3 into 1 is root 3 2 into 2 is 4 so root 3 by 4 minus root 3 by 4 gets cancelled we can get a 0 so this is the second bit uh, cos a cos c minus sin a sin c is equal to how much zero so this is the eighth problem in exercise 11.1 uh, there are totally eight problems uh, we have completed all the eight problems uh, uh, next uh, we have to learn about uh, trigonometric values for some specific angles uh, so that's all today's class uh, thanks for watching